Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best free maps for all 66 brawlers in the game right now. So this one was heavily requested. So hopefully this will really help you out when you're looking to push, especially on ladder before we jump into things then. Make sure you're using the credit code. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So as always, starting off with Shelly. So her best three maps are going to be Sneaky Field, Pinhole Punt, and Beach Ball. So of course, Brubble is the theme with Shelly. That's where you see the most tanks. But if you don't want to play Brubble, then pretty much any showdown map because you tend to see quite a lot of tanks, especially in the grassier maps like Feast of Famine. So next up, we have Nita. So she's particularly strong on Heist and Brubble. And two maps on Heist in particular, Hot Potato and Pit Stop have always been her go-to maps. And then in terms of Brubble, Sneaky fields is her better option just because of the grass and the amount of tanks she's able to counter so next up we have colt so colt's only really usable in heist right now because of all of the unbreakable walls so his best maps are going to be kaboom canyon bridge so far and offset heist so next up we have ball so as always he's only really pushable in heist and those are going to be maps like hot potato pit stop and cover crowd so any map where there's a lot of walls where you can easily get to the safe so next up we have brock so even with the introduction of a lot of unbreakable walls he's still really strong in heist especially still in safe zone and also kaboom canyon in particular and then he's pretty strong in knockout in general where out in the opening is going to be his best knockout map. So next up we have it primo so he's really strong in brubble in particular right now but his best maps are going to be sneaky iron corridor and also super beach just because there's a lot more cover on those maps where you can get his super a lot easier next up we have a barley so the introduction of unbreakable walls has made him strong on those particular maps so iron cover and super beach are going to be two really strong uh, maps for him and also canal grande he's been used a lot in competitive right next up we have poco so poco is really strong in a lot of different game modes and maps his best game modes can be a hot zone whilst the maps in particular dueling beetles and also open zone you're going to get the most value out of him and then in terms of brubble pinhole pun he's always been one of the best brawlers there so next up we have rosa so her best game modes are definitely going to be gem grab and brubble gem grab should be really good with the grass gadget especially on maps like crystal arcade and gem fort just being able to connect bushes is of course the best way to play with rosa and also sneaker field she's used a lot to counter certain brawlers like ash next up we have jesse so she's just decent across the board across a few game modes her best maps in particular are gem fort just because you can place her turret especially behind the unbreakable walls can be pretty hard for the enemies to get into the mid uh, hot potato as well because you can easily just scout the middle and then of course the turret can get a lot of damage and then parallel plays it's always been her best map especially in competitive next up we have a diner so he's insane in a brutal meta in general right now because all these unbreakable walls so field goal is going to be an insane map for him because of the lanes uh iron corridor as well so many unbreakable walls dynamite's just going to have a field day and then lastly hot potato or maybe like pit stop he's always been strong in heist so next up we have tick so tick is strong particularly in any bounty or knockout map there's a few in particular which i really enjoy playing him on which is dry season and shooting star gonna get so much value out of playing tick there and then also flare and phoenix knockout because these are really thrower dominating map next up we have 8-bit so 8-bit is strong in particular on gem grab and heist right now his best heist maps are going to be bridge too far and also safe zone where you can get a lot of damage with his turret combined and then also he's good on a few gem grab maps like hard rep mine where you can easily play safe with your uh, turret right in the back and of course not be countered by those aggros that's why he's such a good gem carrier in hard rock mine next up we have rico so rico of course is just strong on any map which has a lot of walls so it can get a lot of value out of his gadgets so in particular hard rock mine's always been the one map i look towards when i want to play rico and then we have field gold recently with the unbreakable walls he's so incredibly strong on that map it's just free trophies the last one's actually healthy middle ground a new uh, knockout map which he's surprisingly really strong on so next up we have daryl so daryl's always a safe option in heist because of course he automatically gets his super so maps like a pit stop and a cover crowd he's always an excellent option on and then sometimes there's some underrated options where you can play him in brubble and particularly in knockout gold on gulch i see him quite a lot on that map so next up we have penny so penny probably the best brawler in the game right now she's good everywhere but there's a few maps in particular where penny shines even more that's going to be a map like dueling beetles where you can put the turret in a safe area and it's pretty hard for the enemies to get there a cute angle as well really good as a mid and there's just so many optimal walls where you can put that penny turret and also beach ball as well where she just really thrives in the middle next up we have a call so call is pretty strong in every single game mode and he's super versatile but there's a few maps in particular where he really thrives first one's going to be canal grande using his gadget to get a first star is really good on that map and then his peak shot 
ability is just really strong in that map in particular counters throws really well we also have super beach where he's just really good at peak shot and random walls and also get into good positions with his gadget and then lastly minecart madness again using his gadgets again to good positions and it's just really important to peak shot on that map so next up we have jackie so jackie's pretty limited in maps because of her range but she's really strong on a lot of brawl maps you can get always a lot of value with her but there's a few other maps in particular like split where you can easily use her on the right lane just be really defensive as a tank and then also you have sneaky fields of course a lot of grass tanks are going to thrive there and jackie definitely does and lastly canal grande because those unbreakable walls it's going to be really hard to push a brawler like jackie out of that position next up we have gus so there's a couple of game modes in particular where gus is just safe on pretty much every map within those modes which are knockout bounty and also pretty decent in hot zone so gold on gulch is the one map which i always play gus on incredible versatile option right there and then out in the open as well just of course a really open map where you can get a lot of value out of his super and his gadgets and then lastly open zone so of course being able just to get a lot of percentage on the hot zone because of his shield next up we have a bow so bow is just decent across a lot of different maps but there's a few maps where he really shines on the first one's going to be double swoosh this has always been his mapping competitive really good using his mines to break open the mid and also the lanes and also his totem's always in a safe spot down that left hand side and next up we have ring of fire of course his mine's going to get a lot of value in the hot zone because they literally have to go over them uh, to make sure they can get back onto the zone so it just gives you a lot of uh, leeway in terms of uh, trying to capture the zone and the last one is gold on gold trace always been pretty strong on you can be pretty passive on that map with both next up we have M. So M's is really shining in this meta unbreakable walls has really found a new life for her especially in brawl so the first one's going to be pinhole punt a lot of unbreakable walls where she can use her position and her super to get a lot of value same goes with iron cover as well and beach ball is just a perfect map for them so next up we have it stew so stew another brawler which can be used on a lot of different maps but there's a few in particular which are really good for him so the first one's going to be split so split is a really good map for stew you probably won't think it to begin with but with the breakthrough gadget and just being able to get your super so easy from people just running onto the zone it becomes a really lethal assassin on that map and uh, next up open zone so of course with his turret and also just the ability to stay in the zone for a long time chaining your supers is really annoying for the enemies and lastly we have backyard just any passive map stu can get a lot of value out of next up we have piper so there's only a few gamers which she really thrives within this meta she's starting to get a little bit weaker so bounty and knockout of a safe game mode for her right now so in particular shooting star has always been a map to play around and the more open the map the better piper is of course going to be uh flare and phoenix as well really strong knockout map for her and then bridge so far it's a really obviously narrow map so piper is going to get a ton of value there next up we have pam so the first map is going to be ring of fire ring of fire has always been a map which i've played pam on just because there's safe points to put her turret pretty far back but still close to the zone so you can get a lot of value with it and just overall she counters a lot of the hot zone brawlers uh, double swoosh as well always a map where she's good on and in particular as well since vision gear she can scout the bushes really easy and then eventually push up really aggressive with her super and then lastly we have gem fort so again a map with a lot of bushes get uh, value out of vision gear and be aggressive with her gadget so next up we have frank so frank is pretty terrible in his meta he's only really strong on a few maps like circular motion for example there's a lot of walls and that just makes him really easy to push up with his amount of hp and he'll get a lot of uh, super value because there's not unbreakable walls on that map uh, we also have split where again tanks can thrive a lot on split so frank of course with his super can open up areas when he wants to and then lastly sneaky fields because of course the bushes allowing him to push up a little bit easier next up we have a bb so she suffers quite heavily within this meta but with in certain highest maps she can get a ton of value so pit stop and hot potato in general you can get a lot of value out of her because of the walls and also being able to use her super against the wall and the high safe to get a lot of value and in particular cover crowd you'll see the walls on this map you can get so much damage with her bubble next up we have b so b another brawler which is just pretty strong everywhere right now a few maps where she really thrives on though pinhole punt has always been a map which i've pushed a b on just because it's really open she can scout the bushes pretty easily and just literally 1v3 on that map in particular and then we have open zone so another really open map where 
if it, you're a good beat you can definitely pop off and chain your slows and free k shots really easily and then field goal as well pretty much every map b dominates next up we have nannies so of course the more open the map nanny's gonna thrive on because she's gonna counter those other long range brawlers so shooting star is the one map where she's probably the best brawler on because she has pretty much the longest range in the game except for Mandy. And then also you have X marks the spot. Basically, again, any kind of open knockout map, she's going to be a fantastic counter to those other long range brawlers. And Flare and Phoenix as well. So just mainly use her on maps where you see a lot of like Piper, Bell, and other sharpshooters. Next up, we have Edgar. So there's only two ways you can actually push Edgar. It's either you team in showdown or just camp in a bush kind of thing and just wait and surprise the opponents with your super or you can play him on high so it's actually a decent underrated pick on a few uh, maps like hot potato and pit stop where he counters a lot of those squishy brothers especially the throwers and then also we have center control where you can just use your super to bypass a lot of the enemies and get some really good damage on the safe next up we have griff so griff's not really seen in this meta because of those unbreakable walls but there's a few maps in particular where he's really strong on still kaboom canyon being one of them because he can break open the mid wall allowing you to get access to the mid a lot easier that's of course going to be a really strong point for him and then you have super beach and beach ball where you can still get value out of a piggy bank and he's still pretty good in brawl ball in general so next up we have grum where he's really going to thrive on knockout and bounty in particular we have flare and phoenix bells rock and layer cake those are going to be the best three maps for him next up we have a bonnie so bonnie really thrives on really open maps and in particular highest maps where she can get some easy damage with her super so maps like safe zone and kaboom canyon where she's one of the best picks on those maps in particular and then she can be really good especially in hot zone at gaining back control of the map with her super so maps like dueling beetles and ring of fire can be really good for her. next up we have mortis so his best game modes are probably going to be gem grab and bounty in this meta just because they're typically where he can change the game the most with his supers so there's going to be maps like hard rock mine where he can get in and behind enemy lines and also just target the gem carry a lot on that map and then also we have some good bounty maps for him shooting staff I've seen him play the competitive recently where he can counter some of the squishier brawlers and then we have dry season as well where he can easily get in behind the walls and counter those throwers next up we have tara so she really struggles in this meta but gem grab i'd say is by far her easiest mode to push on so double swoosh is a map that's always made for her her main attack can just easily scout the grass especially with the vision gear it's gonna be pretty easy to push her on that map in particular gem four as well always a map even when she's terrible but she's had a lot of influence because she can get in and behind enemy lines sneaking through the grass and then also crystal arcade where normally if you get a good pinch and get control of a lane it can be pretty hard to actually get a tara out of that grass so next up we have it gene so gene is typically strong in every single gem grab map bounty map and a knockout you won't have an issue pushing him in literally any map in those game modes but in particular double swoosh of course with his vision gear and his main attacks can be really easy just to keep control of the grass and clip those gems then you've got minecart as well where his pull of course can cause a lot of problems and it's really easy just to pick brawlers to pull it on that map and then of course we have out in the open where his main attack is going to scout that middle grass really easy next up we have max so again another brawler which is really meta so you shouldn't really have any troubles pushing max but there's a few maps in particular where i feel like she gets the most value in so the first one's going to be pinhole so pinhole should get a lot of value because you can easily scout the grass with her main attack and of course brawl she's just insane and brawl with a super and also her gadget then you have backyard as well so the more open the map is probably going to be better for max because you can wiggle a lot easier get a lot more value out of your or super and then lastly shoot and stop so next up we have mr p so mr p of course terrible within this meta it's pretty hard to find a good map to push him in but in general you want to probably push him in the most uh defensive map possible just because of course he can get overwhelmed so easily so maps like bell's rock on knockout won't face too uh, many aggro options so of course you can just sit behind a lot of walls that's where you're going to get a lot of value with mr p flare and phoenix as well it's a pretty passive map so being able to, to stay back for as long as possible mr p is going to be pretty good and then iron covers so again those walls are going to really benefit a broader like mr p so next up we have sprouts so sprouts going to thrive in pretty much any bounty map or knockout map just because of how strong throwers are in particular in those games modes so maps like bells rock is a fantastic pick he's picked often in monthly finals on that map because it's just such a good power pick especially with his walls and then canal grande as well his walls are just going to block open the well, just block the middle and also just control lanes so easily so of course it's going to be really dominant there and as well layer cake so you're just looking for maps which his walls are going to block off really good choke points so next up we have a byron so byron still struggles a little bit within this meta but on those really passive maps he's actually a pretty underrated pick so we're talking maps like shooting star where often people forget about how good he actually is in a 1v1 interaction 
because of his fast projectile speed and his range. Really good to counter other long range brawlers like B, for example. And then you have Ring of Fire. So, of course, just sitting back and allowing like a more dominant mid to get a lot more percentage, whether that be like a max or just anyone with a lot of tankiness in the middle and hot zone. He can be that good healer behind and then also back your bowls. So, really passive maps. Byron is actually going to really thrive on in this meta. So, next up, we have Squeak. So, Squeak, as I always mention a lot of the time, any map which has those really defined choke points, his gadget's going to get insane value. And of course, just Squeak's main attack is going to get a lot of value. So Jewel and Beatles is a prime example. Use one gadget down one of the three kind of choke points. And then of course, they can only go down the other two, making it a lot easier for you and your teammates to take down the opponents. The same applies with Canal Grande, where you can just pop a gadget down a lane. And then they just can't go there because they're just going to die every single time. So it's just giving you control for those 10 seconds. And then parallel plays as well, just any map with all those defining walls. So next up, we have a Gray. So Gray's kind of fallen a little bit in a meta, but it's still a really strong pick in Knockout and Brubble in particular because of his super and his gadget to become like a really secret assassin so first one's gonna be iron corridor which i love playing with him on uh, power league a lot of people really underrate it but his super just seems to get insane value allowing for quick goals and of course with the wars his gadget can just be really strong same with his super uh, bells rock as well can be a really underrated pick people don't really expect him to be strong there but he is is a good counter to a lot of those squishier brawlers and then lastly we have super beach so just any map where you feel like you're going to get a lot of value out of super he's going to be strong so next up we have the best map so the brand new brawler willow so willow you literally just got to take a look at barley and say those are the best maps for her because of course she's a thrower she lacks a lot of range so again brawlers uh well maps up while it's good on she's gonna thrive in so these are maps like super beach where throws are just really dominant on she's sometimes okay on some maps like canal grande as well but for majority of the part i think other throws could be better than her in knockout and bounty and then we have iron corridor as well so unbreakable walls are going to be her best friend for sure and field goals so just look at those maps with a lot of walls specifically in brutal because you're going to get the most value out of her super in that game mode so now moving on to the legendary starting off with spikes so spikes really going to thrive on those maps with a lot of grass to get the most use out of his vision gear and also maps with a lot of choke points so his super can get some good value so the first one's going to be crystal arcade his, his uh, main attack is just really good at gaining control of the lane and then of course his super blocking a lot of choke points is going to be really strong for him a q angle as well his uh, curveball is just really made for that map a really good map for him and then beach ball as well so a lot of strong maps for spike but he's super versatile i see him in plenty of game modes and maps so next up we have crow so one of the best brawlers in the meta so you shouldn't have to really worry about pushing him when it comes down to certain maps but his best maps are going to be firstly pinhole punt his main attack can just scout the grass so easy and can get so much value out of his super on this map then we have ring of fire so again just being able to gain control of the hot zone with his slows he's always been insane on ring of fire and lastly kaboom so just look at maps with a lot of grass where his main attack can easily scout the opponents next up we have leon so he's pretty versatile brutal although he does get counted a little bit hard by vision gear in this meta but like you can push him pretty much anyways really good across multiple game modes but anyways the best maps in particular especially in brutal going to be iron corridor and pinhole punt where his lollipop drops gonna get a lot of value and that's where you're gonna see the most value with him in this meta because it's gonna allow you just to get a lot of value and surprise the enemies a lot of the time where you can see uh, also in gem grab a cute angle and some other maps where you're looking uh, to give that lollipop drop to your gem carrier it's just gonna allow you to get those gems a lot easier next up we have sandy so sandy's even though he's received a buff recently he's only really found himself in a brutal meta so maps like sneaky fields super beach and iron corridor where there's a lot of places where he can get a lot of value out of his main attack and also his super he's going to be really easy to push on those type of maps next up we have amber so amber's only really being used on hot zone maps uh, in competitive right now just because she gets a lot of value out of her super so maps like ring of fire open zone and also triumvirate uh, so they're going to be good maps for her just because she can cycle her super really easily and play defensive and get that zone so next up we have meg so pretty much any hot zone map you're going to get a lot of value out of meg she's not really seen outside of other game modes so maps like ring of fire and open zone she's just going to absolutely dominate on those type of maps and dueling beetles as well where her pure hp and tankiness when she gets into that mech form it's just really hard to get her off the zone when she's in that form. And lastly, for the legendaries, we have Chester. So normally when I want to push Chester, I look for more so of a grassy map, but also Brubble is his best mode by far because you'll see the most tanks there. And that's what you really want to do with Chester counter tanks. So 
maps like double swoosh a lot of grass we can get a lot of value out of the vision gear and sneak up his main attack is kind of made to scout the grass and next up beach ball as well just really easy to get uh, a lot of damage on that map same goes for pinhole punt so making sure you're getting the most use out of grass when you can and finally we have the chromatics starting off with gale so gale is actually more so used on open maps now with his freezing snow star power so a little bit of a change in his best maps uh, maps like split where you can use uh, the jump pad gadget is often used on that map uh, kaboom canyon where there's a lot of open areas where freezing snow is really going to help you gain control and then same goes with beach balls so again look for maps which are pretty open because you don't really get his super too often anymore so next up we have surge so i always never struggle to push uh, surge on brubble in particular he's so easy to carry randoms on brubble but in particular super beach it's just a really defined map where he can get his levels pretty easily you'll often find tanks on those maps so Pretty much, I would say, any map where you see a lot of mortars, see a lot of ash, those types of brutals, Surge is going to dominate on. Iron Corridor as well gets a lot of value on that map. Field Goal is just a perfect map for him. So next up, we have Colette. So she's somewhat underrated in the meta, especially against all those tanks. Uh, but in particular, Heist is still her playground. So Kaboom Canyon and Safe Zone always spring to mind when I want to play Colette. It's just an easy super onto the safe on those types of maps. You can get guaranteed damage all of the time and then bridge too far as well. So although sometimes you can just ignore Colette on that map, I still think she's a pretty safe bet because she counters a lot of brawlers on that map. So next up we have Lou. So you should have no struggles whatsoever pushing him in every single hot zone map. So just go in hot zone, you'll be able to push him so easily. But in particular maps like Ring of Fire and Open Zone, you can get some insane value with him. Those are one hot zone maps. His super can cover the entirety of the zone and just making it so easy for you to capture it yourself as well and get the enemies off with his gadget uh, as well. Dueling Beetles is a perfect map for him. So any hot zone map, he's going to dominate. On. Next up, we have Ruffs. So again, another good brother, which is pretty good on any gem grab brutal map, especially those passive ones. But uh, maps in particular where his super is going to get a lot of value all his main attacks can be easy to land. So hard rock mine springs to mine straight away. You know, a map where Rico's good on. Normally Ruff's pretty good on as well. So that's a good uh, general rule of thumb to have. Uh, we have Crystal Arcade as well, where his main attacks just can be really easy to hit on the lane. And then once you get your super, of course, that's going to break open the entire lane straight away. Same goes with Super Beach. So look for maps where his super is going to break open the entire lane. Next up, we have Bell. So she's just pretty decent on a lot of maps within ladder right now. But in particular, those maps are going to be like safe zone where she can get a lot of value in the mid. And also, if there's any a tankier last pick options on safe zone, she can still do pretty decent against those. Same with Kaboom. She's always pretty good in Kaboom because once you get control, you can put some nest eggs in the middle and just allow yourself just to dominate in the middle, especially with the shots ricocheting off the safe. It can be a really hassle. A uh, big hassle for the enemy team on uh, on Kaboom Canyon in particular. And then you have Ring of Fire. So it's actually used pretty often a Ring of Fire to counter other brawlers like Lou and B. And also you just get a lot of trap uh, value out of your traps on that map. So next up we have Buzz. So Buzz is just generally pretty good on maps where throwers dominate. Uh, but also he's just a solid last pick option on a lot of Power League maps. Whether that be Heist, Gem Grab, Brubble, Bounty, you name it. He's pretty flexible right now. So... In terms of ladder, I really like him a hot potato just because throws are pretty dominant on that map right now. So I can see you get a lot of value out of Buzz on that map in particular. Sneaker fields as well. You can use his other gadget to get vision off the grass. It's a fantastic option right there. And then also you have Canal Grande where you can always get your super for free on that map. So I think Buzz is pretty flexible overall. Though. Next up we have Ash. So Ash is really dominant on a couple of game modes right now. Whether that's Bounty, Gem Grab and Brubble. You can pretty much play him on every single map. Is just so incredibly strong right now. But in particular, Canal Grande is going to be a map where a good Ash is going to be like impossible to get him out because those unbreakable walls are just in such a weird position where tanks can just thrive so easily. Crystal Arcade as well. Once you get control of the grass, it's near enough impossible without a really solid pinch to get Ash out of the grass. And then lastly, it's Super Beach as well, where he's always been strong on. So a lot of really good maps for Ash. Next up, we have Lola. So the more open the map is, it's going to be better for Lola, but she's good on a lot of game modes and maps right now but in particular bridge too far so bridge too far is going to be a really good map for her because it's really easy just to of course keep her lane because her shots are never going to miss on that map and then once you get a super you can just absolutely shred the safe so in general heist is going to be her best game mode probably you also have open zone where of course again 
a super and just her gadgets gonna get a lot of value being able to just stay in a zone for a long time because it's gonna be really annoying for the enemies to destroy your clone and then lastly kaboom canyon because the vision gear is gonna be really strong on her and then once you actually have control it's gonna be so hard for the enemies to actually take control of you on kaboom canyon so next up we have fang so fang is insanely strong on knockout and bounty because normally you tend to see the more squishier brawlers where of course fang with his super and gadget combined can just absolutely destroy multiple of those squishier brawlers so we're talking about maps like Flay and Phoenix where a lot of the time there's often like a, an enemy brawler but which is just so low on their own down a particular lane so of course his super even if you miss it directly on the opponent you're going to be able to get a kill if you're close to them really easily on Flay and Phoenix shooting star as well I see him pretty often on that map just because his super has such good range and in a 1v1 he'll destroy every single shop shooter and then lastly nowhere to hide where I've played against really good fang players on that map and it can be really hard to deal with next up we have Eve so a general rule of thumb of course with Eve is any map with a lot of water she's just going to be insane on she's a really underrated pick in this meta so firstly of course Canal Grande is going to be her main map she's literally the best um, uh, option on that map because of course she can go across the mid water and just pinch any lane whenever she wants so of course that's going to be really strong uh, next up nowhere to hide so again another map where I love playing her on power league a really solid option and she's a good counter to a lot of the meta bounty brothers like Mandy like Nanny and also Piper because you can use her gadget just to escape some of their best attributes and then lastly safe zone where she's always a good solid pick especially at not allowing ever enemy to get in behind your lines so next up we have Janet so Janet's just pretty strong everywhere right now but there's a few maps in particular she really thrives on so any map with a lot of grass where she can get some good uh, value out of her gadget her gadget can just allow you to scout really easily so of course she's just going to dominate even more on those maps so those maps in particular like double swoosh canal grande and Penelope. next up we have Otis so Otis is just a solid meta pick right now strong across multiple game modes and maps but in particular Brubble you see the most tanks there and also his gadget and his main attack are just really easy to scout the grass with so of course Otis is going to be really strong right there so in particular Beach Ball has always been a good map for him because his actual pretty uh, long range is really strong for a map like uh, Beach Ball and then you have maps like Pinhole Punt and also a Kaboom Canyon where his main attack can just scout the grass and just allow you not to be countered by those aggro picks. Next up we have Sam. So Sam is a brawler of course. The more walls the better it's going to be for him because his super well, his main his brawler literally relies off his super spamming it against the wall getting as much speed and value out of his healing as much as possible so any map with walls of course you can push him on so super beach is going to be a really good one for him because of course straight away down the lane there's a lot of walls so his super is going to get a lot of value pinhole punt as well a lot of unbreakable walls which is really going to help him uh, next up we have iron corridors so all of those unbreakable walls are going to make it really hard for the enemies to really counter him and then lastly we have hot potatoes so the more wall spamming the better it's going to be for Sam. so next up we have buster so buster is a brawler which is struggling in the meta but there's a few maps in particular where he actually is a strong competitive brawler on that map so the first one's going to be canal grande seen him used a lot there because his gadget can just get some insane value and of course tanks are really strong there so any map where tanks are good on but is still going to be pretty decent crystal arcade as well pretty good down the lane and same with super beach so next up we have a mandy so mandy is a brawler again just like a lot of these sharpshooters just really strong in every single bounty map and knockout map because you're going to get a lot of value out of a super particularly in knockout so if you get like one kill in knockout with her super it's going to completely change the game so that's going to be like uh, maps like shooting star gold arm gulch and out in the open all maps where long range really thrives and lastly we have rt so i've got to get gameplay for him and i don't want to waste my mastery points that's why you don't see any gameplay but anyways his best maps and in general is going to be knockout so knockout is going to be the best game mode for him because of course he's got a range to compete in knockout and then once the gas comes in his other form, his super, his split can just get some insane damage quickly to the opponent. So there's going to be maps like Gold Arm Gooch. He's going to be really strong on seeing and competitive quite often. Bells Rock as well. He's a really solid pick. Of course, he can outrange a lot of other brawlers. And then lastly, Super Beach where, you know, in his tankier form, he can get a lot of value. All right, guys, it's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this one. So this took a long time to draft up and also just playing the game a lot in general. It, it takes a lot of effort to make these videos. So really appreciate if you guys... Uh, uh, comment and also like if you enjoy this type of stuff so let me know whether there's some maps i might have missed out on any of these brawlers uh, but in general in the next few days you'll be starting to see a lot more guides especially with the brand new brawler willow probably in about three days time you will see a guide with her so that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time